What would happen if an average lacrosse player like me did a shooting accuracy contest against a four-star Division I lacrosse commit? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. What's up, fellas? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. I'm super excited because I'm about to go shoot with Ethan Burke. He's a rising senior midfielder committed to Maryland. Inside lacrosse ranked him a four-star recruit, so he's legit. He's going to take me through his lacrosse workout, and hopefully at the end of the workout, we're going to do a shooting accuracy contest to see who's the better shooter. I'm pumped about this. Let's do this thing. So Ethan and I started by passing it around a little bit to get warmed up. And just by talking to him, I was already so impressed by his lacrosse knowledge. You could tell this guy just lived and breathed lacrosse and told me about all this different film he was watching this week. No wonder this guy is so highly rated. Then we went on to our first drill over the goal shooting. Start by placing two goals about 10 feet apart from each other and shoot over the first one into the second one. This drill is really going to help you with your overhand shooting form since you have to make it over the goal. For a bigger challenge, try to go one-handed. This is really gonna test your wrist strength, especially with your offhand. No. Next, we went into the three-step drill. Start by setting up two columns of three cones and work on doing a split dodge like you see here. Step, 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 split. This drill really helps with your footwork and helping you get more explosive when you dodge. Yep. Yeah. And just look at how fast Ethan's feet are. And personally, I think I need to spend some time on the footwork ladder. Dude, this guy is so good. I don't think you'll understand. Like, he's so good and he's in high school. It doesn't make sense. Then we went to the falling down drill. Stand about 12 yards away from the goal, get on your toes, and lean forward like you're about to fall. Then do a three-step split dodge and shoot. This is another great drill to help with your footwork and explosiveness. Yep, yep. And fellas, if you're a lacrosse fan like me, you know the sport does not get enough media attention. So if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and tell a friend. Shout out my mom, shout out my dad, shout out my girlfriend, Devin. You know, shout out to my mom and dad too. What about your girlfriend? Shout out to my girlfriend, Grace. Just get check what we got here. Some East Coast dyes mesh, hero mesh. Little Westlake colors, looking clean. Then we went on to the next drill, the re-dodge drill. Start by doing a normal split dodge, then bounce back up top, and then do another quick dodge. Re-dodging is one of the most important skills you can learn in lacrosse. It's really hard to beat a defender on the first try, but if you take a few steps back and readjust, it can be way easier to beat someone on your second attempt. One thing I really respected about Ethan was that every drill was full speed. He never took a rep off and went slow. He was practicing as if he was playing in a game. I hope you aspiring lacrosse players take note. When you practice, go hard. Ethan is obviously a very successful player on the field, so I wanted to know, what is his best advice to younger players? Oh, you gotta fall in love with the game. Watch film all the time. Watch the greatest players. They know what they're doing. They got all the tricks up their sleeve. I try to replicate what they do. And for the final and most fun drill, we played a game of pipes. Crossbar is worth five points, side pipes are worth three, and corners are worth one. And if you catch it off the crossbar, it's ten. We're playing to 21. That's three. Is that a corner too? Yeah, that's that right, four. four. Oh, baby. So four zero. Might be wrapped. Yeah, it might be wrapped. Nope. Uh, yeah. I believe Jake. 15? 15. 15 is yeah, alright, we gotta get we gotta get one point. Alright, uh, 15 to 1. Let's no. go. Uh, that's not a corner. That's not a corner. No. That'd be a corner for me, but we'll, yeah, we'll we'll not call that a corner for you. No. That's a corner. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I told you. Uh, 17 6. That's important. 18. 18. 18 6. Oh, oh, yes. oh. Come back. 18 16. Let's go. Talk to him, Jake. Talk to him. Uh, oh. 18 17. 18 17. I'm sure something historical happened in that year. Oh! That's 21. Oh my. Oh, okay, one more shot. Yeah, you got a redemption. Jeez. Oh, yeah, that's a great save. I'm getting only the finest balls here. What's the ball selection out here? 18, or no, it's 21 now. I get one shot. 17 redemption shot for Jake from last week. Oh! I was, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was a good game. Was a that was great. Ethan is about 20 times better than any lacrosse player that we played with in high school. That was one of my favorite shooting sessions ever. I really encourage you to take some of the drills that we did today and apply them into your own game. And let me know, who should I train with next? I'm Jake with Last Weekly. I hope you have a fantastic day.